excited to make this video because I've been teaching this um, idea of using proportions to figure out wildlife populations for years and s students often have trouble um, setting up the, these proportions themselves without this sort of um, proportion as a guide you know the number of tagged animals in the recapture sample to the total number in the recapture sample without, without having this as a sort of a guide it's sort of hard to know how to set up the proportion on your own and I've never quite understood why um, but I think I I think I figured out a way to make it easier as I was thinking about making this video a minute ago so we'll use that we we'll use that idea in the video and I'll certainly teach it when we when we do the lesson in class and um, it's actually pretty simple so I'm surprised I never thought of it before so number four is the hardest problem on your homework um, because it's not it's not the standard um, uh, problem where you tag a certain number of animals and that that's the number of tagged animals in your total population and then you, you recapture and and count the number of tagged to the total number of animals in the recaptured sample and you use those <clears throat> numbers to try to figure out the total number of an animals in the population that's that's the typical scenario um, that's the one that's more uh, based on the more real life scenario where you'd be trying to estimate the total number of animals in the population and so that's what you do on problems one two and three on problem four it's a little bit of a different setup so you've got the same proportion but the unknown is different in this scenario so let's read it a wildlife preserve believes they have approximately 1200 wild horse I should say horses 1200 wild horses on their land so they believe their total population is 1,200. So I'm actually going to start setting up the um, proportion right now. They believe the total number of animals in their population is 1,200. So that's actually the number that we're usually solving for. They round up 12 horse. Uh, they, they round up 15 horses and humanely tag one of their ears. And so that's the um, number of tagged animals in the total population, 15. And the, the difference that I, I thought about before the video is from now on we should write uh, the units. So 15 tagged to, to 1,200 total. Um, it, if their estimate of the population 1,200 is correct and they later corral, so here's the keyword later, so this is our recaptured sample. They later corral 160 horses. How many of these horses should be tagged? So our ratio of tagged to total in the recaptured sample should be equivalent to our ratio of tagged to total in the total population and so I, I, I feel confident that putting tagged in total is going to is going to make these uh, proportions easier to set up without without having to use this as a guideline so later they corral 160 horses that's the total number of horses in the recaptured sample we want to know how many of those horses would be tagged so that's our unknown X um, I'm going to ask you to solve that during the uh, the pause, but but before you pause, um, don't forget that th there's another question here. What what could the wildlife preserve do next time to improve the reliability of their estimates? So, see what you get for X. Give some thought to the the uh, reasonableness of that number and the way they the way they did their um, tagging and recapturing and and uh, see if there's a way you could improve on their method. Just as a hint, you could think about some of the things we discussed today when we we did the um, this similar scenario using uh, the goldfish so pause now paused okay I look <clears throat> I look at the 160 and the 1200 I don't see an easy scale factor 15 and 1200 there might be an easy way to scale 15 up to 1200 but uh, nothing jumps out at me as being extremely easy so I'm just gonna set up a cross product equation 1200 multiplied by X is equal to 160 multiplied by 15 160 multiplied by 15 is easy because it's 10 160s which is 1600 and 5 160s which should be half of 1600 since 5 is half of 10 so that's 2400 for my product 2400 is equal to 1200 X if I want to know what X is, I don't want 1,200 of them. I want one of them. So I undo this multiplying by 1,200 by dividing by 1,200. And then I need to do the same thing on the other side of my equation because of the property of equality. And so the 1,200s cancel. I get 1X, which is X. And then the quotient 2,400 divided by 1,200 is 2. So the answer to the first question, how many of these horses should be tagged? The answer is two horses. 
Uh, the second question, what could the wildlife preserve do next time to improve, improve the reliability of their estimate? That question implies <clears throat> that there's something wrong with their, the reliability of their estimate using their current method. And so if you think about their current method, they think they have 1,200 horses. They tagged 15 and sent them back out into the population. When they recapture 160, which is, you know, more than a tenth of the population, but not much more, um, they expect they would expect two of them to be tagged. Now, the problem with expecting two to be tagged is um, if you expect two to be tagged, one is very likely only one will be tagged, in which case you're your estimate is off by a, by half, um, or zero could be tagged. It'd be very if you only have 15 tagged horses out in this population of 1,200, you can capture one six 160 all you want. But they're very likely that that all none, none of those 15 tagged horses will be in that group of 160 horses. So if you get zero tagged, it, it looks like your uh, population of horses is actually infinite, which of course is impo is unreasonable, and you might end up getting like four or five back tagged, which throws off all your estimates. So really, the, 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 there's a couple ways they could improve up on this. The, the most obvious and probably the most straightforward way would be to tag more horses in the first place. If this 15 was, I don't know, 40, the, then then you get a much more uh, reasonable um, estimate. When you recapture 160, you should expect some, some of those to be among the 40 tagged horses. Another thing you could do is you could tag 15. I still don't think that's a great idea, but if you're going to tag 15 and you're going to recapture 160, you better recapture 160, send it back out, recapture another 160, send it back out. To do, do several trials. You either want to um, tag more animals in the first place or do several trials or maybe both of those things to improve the reliability of the estimate. Okay, I hope that helped with the homework. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not.